Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be playing standard and it's going to be a banned planeswalker midrange list. It's going to be a standard best of one list with average converted mana cost 3.3, 3 creatures, 32 non-creatures and 25 lands. Now the idea here is to play broker's ascendancy with some banned colored uh, midrange planeswalkers and this is what we came up with. We're also pairing these planeswalkers with uh, Luxure here, Giada's Gift. So this list is um, very, very mid-rangey and very grindy as well. And we're utilizing different mechanics here and different synergies like Tezzeret and Reckoner Bankbuster, like Kasmina and plusing the Wandering Emperor and Elspeth through Kasmina here, um, just so we can uh, plus them up rapidly and uh, we can gain value off of them. We're also utilizing Tamiyo here and Renin 7. Ren basically mills, Tamiyo gets stuff back, usually our four, four mana Planeswalkers or maybe Kasmina, um, which is pretty good. A lot of things synergize with each other here. We're also including a fine amount of disruption and removal just so we can compete and uh, a decent card draw uh, card within the list. So, uh, like we said, two Giada's Gift here, uh, two March of Otherworldly Light, mainly for like, um, you know, these uh, man lands and, and other pesky stuff, like little stuff, like an anvil or something like that. Three uh, Fateful Absence, because bent colors struggle a lot with dealing with um, planeswalkers, so Fateful Absence is absolutely necessary. Three Malevolent Hermit as our, as our early creature, and I like Hermit here because instead of, you know, including a counter spell, you include a creature, right? Because Counterspell is usually dead against um, aggro. Um, and you have, yeah, you have Celestis here, but it's just too slow if you want to get rid of it, right? You also have Tezzeret, so you can, by the time you put the Tezzeret down, usually when you put the Tezzeret down, you want to make an artifact into a creature, right? So you can block and start swinging and do stuff like that. You don't really want to plus the Tezzeret un unless you're comfortable. So having a dead card is nothing that I want to see in best of one. So I uh, included Malevolent Hermit as a creature that can block, that can attack, um, that can counter something, and also we can play it as the Geist, and we uh, nothing is nothing of our stuff can get countered anymore, right? It, it's a pretty good card against control. It's a pretty good card against heavy counter spell mid range. So it's a decent card nonetheless over here for me. <clears throat> for Reckoner Bankbuster to pair with Tezzeret here, if you have a Tezzeret on the battlefield, you can just not pay two and just draw with this. And also, it's a very good card here with Tezzeret, mainly because you know if you ultimate the Tezzeret, you you get to draw a lot of cards off of the Bankbuster and the Tezzeret here. So it synergizes very well with Tezzeret. Two Kasminas here, um, two Brokers Ascendancy, two Celestis. Kasmina here is, is really good with Planeswalkers, right? Kasmina is always good with Planeswalkers, so it gives your Wandering Emperor va uh, value, your Elspeth value. It's pretty good. Brokers Ascendancy here is just, you know, dead spell in my opinion, but uh, nonetheless, we just want to try it out more, so I included it in this list. We didn't really see it that much, but um, I'm pretty sure if you play this when you're in a comfortable position, which is not likely, but if you do, you can get a lot of um, value off of it, right? Two uh, Celestis here, mainly for the colors and mainly for, you know, ramping into our five mana Planeswalkers that we can play a turn early, even though you can play Tamiyo on turn four, thanks to the Phyrexian mana, which is pretty good. Um, three Wandering Emperors, and we went heavy on the Emperor here because it exiles against life, you know, there's a lot you can do with the Emperor. Uh, two Tezzeret here and only one Teferi. Um, Teferi here is a non-impactful Planeswalker as soon as it hits the battlefield. Although with the amount of artifacts that we have and give it, given like a couple turns, it can really like get out of hand and start gaining life and making plays, right? One Elspeth here as well because we don't run a lot of creatures and I'm against the idea of running a lot of Elspeths if you don't have a lot of creatures. Um, so Elspeth is mainly here to look for our Broker's Ascendancy or Kasmina or our Celestis and then we benefit off of it with Kasmina here as well by plusing it through the Kasmina's plus and if we have a creature or an artifact that we make through Tezzeret then Elspeth is very good right two Renin sevens here pretty straightforward two Tamiyo and four Farewells within the mana base here we're running um, 25 lands originally it was 26 but um, I was just flooding uh, miserably so we have the basics here just in case we face off against a um, a he very heavy Field of Ruin kind of deck. So we have basics here. We have Ottawara, Hall, Iganjo, Beseju, and pretty straightforward with the rest of the band colors. So 
that does it for the list um, the list is relatively slow so you have to keep that in mind you you need to uh, basically you need to rely off of your tesseret and wandering ember tesseret to make creatures and wandering ember to just tempo and exile and remove and then the rest over here just um, just apply apply a, a ton of value as well so with this list you're going to be able to beat uh meta range very very easily you're i surprisingly i didn't lose the tempo yet um i actually i lost to only to one tempo deck that was mono blue um but all the other like uh, azorius tempo lists we were able to beat and you'll see within the video and also against aggro i didn't face a lot of aggro mainly because like I don't know it's just a random day i didn't face a lot of aggro but if you do face a lot of aggro for me i like luxury here to make our planeswalkers into creatures that we can defend with um, and that's the idea behind it right is to just utilize these planeswalkers instead of having them here and trying to protect them no let them be our protector you know um, so yeah it's a very good list very fun list as well just just a change right i want to play some planeswalkers today so this is what i came up with and with that being said, I have a new announcement within the channel. We are going to start uh, posting um, tutorial videos for people that are new to the um, to, to Magic and new to MTG Arena in general. Uh, so with those t uh, new tutorial videos, we are going to take you back to the beginning, to the first couple of steps. So if you see those videos and you're a pretty well experienced player, you can just skim through them or you can just not watch them at all. It's fine. But just don't worry i'm not turning the channel into something different the channel the channel is always going to have standard gameplay on it i'm just going to include something else to tend it to more audience and uh with that being said um check out the links all the links down in the description become a patron to help support the channel and help me out for my time also you can become a member of the channel so we can start streaming every day once i reach 200 members i start streaming every day and if you're looking to get into different formats like explorer historic brawl or historic in general or alchemy even i'm a multi-format player and i offer um coaching sessions private coaching sessions so, so check out uh, the discord hit me up on discord for your inquiries and we'll go from there and with that being said enjoy the video have a great day and i'll see you guys later with another one Okay, bye. All right, good lands, decent hand, I think. We're going second, so. Lands keep coming. That's pretty good. Alright, so no nothing to counter, huh? Seems like it's Esper, but probably control. Wedding announcement, sure. Yeah, I think we just get the Celestis down here as fast as possible. Kato's pretty good here. I won't let Kamigawa fail my family again. <laughs> There's no secret I can't uncover. Okay. Do we go for Elspeth here? Pretty sure we do, right? We're gonna draw two cards next turn, but let's see. I'll light your way on this dark street. I've made plenty of connections. Hmm. So the problem is if we get Kasmina. I think we get Malevolent Hermit here. Even though it's a bad get, but if we get Kasmina, the Elspeth dies, right? Elspeth really dies. But if we make a creature with the Kasmina, Kasmina dies. I'm not sure what we do here, to be honest. I don't. I think we just get Kasmina. Let the Elspeth die, sure. We must prepare for tomorrow.
Let's see what happens. They're gonna draw a ton of cards this turn. One off of the wedding announcement and one off of the Kato here. <clears throat> Next turn, maybe we can play a Wandering Emperor and a uh, Fateful Absence here. Yeah, they are playing an Esper Planeswalker you list. Require my aid. I think we're we're desperately <laughs> missing the Black Planeswalkers here. Maybe we can just farewell the creatures, right? They go after Elspeth here, naturally. They don't. Oh, just to break the, uh... What? Why would you attack like that? Why would you give me another turn with the, uh... Um, with the Elspeth here? I think it's pretty straightforward what we have to do here. All creatures and all enchantments. That puts him at a very difficult spot here, I think. So I think here we just use Kasmina's ability. The future is not yet decided. I'll keep a Tamiel. Loth is uh, really struggling here, I think. They void rend the Kasmina. Nice. I don't like uncertain futures. <clears throat> so I guess that's why they made that move, but it, even though, like, they could have drawn, right? They could have attacked with two creatures, one Run. on the Elspeth, one on the Kismina. <laughs> like, that should be good, but we can just buy back the Kismina with, uh, with Tamio here. Yeah, that's fine. You can't catch us. All right, so we've got multiple things to do here. We're definitely gonna play a land. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana. If we play Tamiya, that leaves us with Fateful Absence. But what do we do with all of these, right? If we buy back the Kasmina, is that pretty good? I'm not sure. I guess we look with Elspeth anyway, right? May your peace. That's pretty last. bad. Let's get that, I guess. We need to kill one of these planeswalkers, preferably the uh, Kato here, right? We can kill the Kato, they attack with the Aspirant and this. Yeah, that's a pretty bad move here from us, I think. Okay, so if we play Tamiya, we can play it for four, right? One, two, three, four, that leaves us with three mana. That's not even good. We can kill something. The attack, yeah. Phyrexia is the multiverse's synthetic destiny. Or, hmm, I think we need to tap first, right? If we kill Kato, we tap one. They kill Elspeth, don't they? Anyway, we're going to lose Elspeth here, I think, unless we make Tamio into a creature here. I think we just uh, we just get Kasmina, to be honest. We are past. We are future. But there's still time for my plans. Hmm. So it's either we kill something or we equip. I think we, I think we're gonna lose the Elspeth here anyway. Let's see how they decide to attack. <clears throat> they might really want to go after our planeswalkers here, which makes no sense, especially if they go after Kasmina. Like it really makes no sense. They're going after Kasmina here. That's that's okay. The course of time is now altered. Okay. They're not drawing any lands, which is they might draw with the Loth here. 
good minions are loyal and deadly. Yeah, they don't want us to uptick the Elspeth with uh, with Kasmina here, it seems like. Tenacious Underdog is fine. They go to attack here before they draw with Kato. Let's see what they do with their attack. I think we're going to lose... Uh, I think we... Um, we keep the Tamiyo, right? And I, the generous one, try not to give up hope. Yeah, I think that's what we do anyway here. Hmm. Another farewell, huh? Okay. No, oh, you'll fall into my web again. You do not write this story. I think that's pretty decent here for us, even though they have a ton of cards in hand. And they can easily deal with Tamio now because it's a creature. Yeah, I think that's the bad side of Luxure, to be honest. That sucks. That really does. I think the card sucks mainly for this reason, right? Another underdog, sure. March is pretty good. One, two, one, two, three. Can't really cast the march though. Let's see what we draw. Okay. I think we go after the uh, underdog here. We exile the underdog. Xanthar. Nice. Okay. Yeah, they're running everything in this very, very slow mid-range list. Very, very slow. They they actually got us mainly because they had a Kato. That, that's about it, right? Lilf wasn't really relevant. The Wandering Emperor really hurts here. Now you've done it. Hats coming off. I am almost sad to see you go. But I mean, we have no way to deal with the Xanthar. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I guess we take it. And Mankato is unlimited value, isn't it? Now this is a juicy secret. And that's the problem, huh? Okay. Well, there's a play to be made here. I think if we play, uh, if we kill Xanthar. All right, let's kill Xanthar here. So four four, we finally kill Kato here. I think. No, I think we killed the Wandering Emperor before she minuses again. I think we pass here, yeah. <laughs> of course. It's so annoying. Of course. I hope you're ready to lose. <sighs> okay. Another aspirant man, like, 
I just don't get it. I don't get how this is working. Because we're a slow deck. That's that's why it's working. That's the only reason why it works. And we, we keep giving them card draw as well. Damn. That sucks. Alright, I guess we follow it up with our own Wandering Emperor here. I think next turn we finally kill the Kato here. But they probably have like another one. They have, they're so much, like so much ahead. They're ahead by so much here. Of course we're going to discard this here, I think. Hermit. Hermit isn't good. We do the same thing. We're going to kill Kato here. <clears throat> oh, no big deal. We're going to pass. I'll try again later. Probably have another Kato in hand, right? It's a 4 of Kato in a, um, in a deck like this. But they run Kato, Void Rant, and Obscura Charm. Are they minus. Sure. Another land, that sucks. So we're just losing our Planeswalkers left and right thanks to the uh, Luxury here. That's pretty bad. That puts us way behind here, I think. Yeah, another Kato for sure. That's so annoying. It's insane. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I'll keep a fateful absence and I'll pass here. One, two, three, four. Nice. So we can still play the Wandering Emperor here, which is pretty good. We need to hold up a counter spell. We haven't seen a counter spell from them yet. We just seen big plays back to back. I think at least the nice thing that this card is doing is that it, it's enabling us to attack their planeswalkers as well, right? So it's a planeswalker battle, right? Esper against Bant. It works. Sure. It'll, they'll probably end up countering the Wandering Emperor, right? And if they do, that puts us at such a disadvantage here. It's kind of insane. Yeah, they're attacking first. The Kasmina here, but I think we have to go go with it nonetheless. Yeah, they do have something in hand here, which is unfortunate. Oh, they let it through. That's pretty good. I'll still activate it though. That's fine. Another Xanthar, that's okay. And they draw with the Kato. We have to kill the Kato. Kato is a priority, right? Killing the Kato is a priority, and we're going to be able to do that here. We're gonna kill both of our uh, both of their planeswalkers here, I believe. has to be pretty good for us here at least okay <clears throat> mm. 
<clears throat> Maybe we could have like used the equip three on the malevolent hermit here, so so we can dodge removal off of the Kasmina. So far, we've seen multiple multiple planeswalkers here, two Xanthars, which which are their top ends here, which is pretty good. So what are you left with now? Probably a board wipe, right? Another one? They have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they have another Meat Hook Massacre, which is pretty good for them. So yeah, maybe the right move here. Oh, minus eight. Why did you do that? You know Malevolent Hermit's ability here. So what I'm going to do here is just... <clears throat> We're going to scry first here as well. Broker's Ascendancy, I'll keep that on top, why not? We're going to attack. I'm going to play my Hermit here. Yeah. That way we can, uh, Kismina can dodge removal, right? Take the draw. Yeah, after the constant back and forth, we're finally ahead. Raffine. You're also running Raffine? That's insane. How greedy are you? They're running all the three mana spells. All of them. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. That's very, very interesting for sure. They're down to two. Keep it to fairy. Oh, another Wandering Emperor. They do have something, but is it a Vanishing Verse? GG's. Nice. We actually managed to beat a very greedy Esper Planeswalker list. Nice. Okay. That's a mulligan, for sure. I think we take a land out here. Even though we have Farewell. Which, but you know whatever it's definitely a land here because we we got nothing right <clears throat> okay so turn two bankbuster turn turn three kasmina against mono white or blue oh tempo all right so farewell is almost never going to resolve here right Yeah, Farewell will never, like, accomplish anything against a tempo deck like this. That's pretty good. Okay, they have a counter spell, maybe? Hmm. It's possible. It's very, very possible. Probably just protection spells, right? Sure. I'll keep that. Delver of Secrets. So no blue mana. Well, they have the blue mana. Of course. So we have one black. I guess we need another green, right? There's still time for my plan. Yeah, they do have something in hand, so even even the Emperor is a bad play here for us, so I guess we just hold up the Emperor. If this flips, that's pretty bad, but if it doesn't, I'll slip out the back. Yeah, we can have it phase out.
We can definitely have it phase out. Uh, sure. Actually, let's see what they want to do here. Probably slip out the back on it, but they lose guiding voice, right? Oh, it's just the UC guards approach. That's even better. It's even better. Oh, they're actually going to kill Kismina? That's insane. Oh, they don't have the mana, which is pretty good. And it's going to be really, really hard uh, playing against that. With that much protection. And that's how we're drawing? That's crazy. Please, enough with the lands, please. So I don't, I don't think the Emperor is ever going to be the play here. Unless we just... Play the Emperor and try to swing back, try to race, since they're going to be targeting our Planeswalkers anyway. But I still don't think that's the play. At least what we can do is just race. <clears throat> We're gonna lose Kasmina, sure. There's nothing we can do about that. Unless we draw a march off the top, right? With the bank buster. Yeah, but they're holding up all sorts of things, possibly even a Wandering Emperor, because they didn't invest with the anatomy, right? And the lands are just terrible here, right? Should have played a land there to dodge the march or a spell pierce. Uh, that really hurts. That uh, really hurts. Definitely should have played the land there. That's a mistake. Well, they had it all, actually. Please, no land off the top. Okay. We're going to take more damage. They're playing really careful. They're playing in a way where it's telling me they have two protection spells, right? So they can easily kill us here, no matter what we do. Unless we make a play with the her Hermit here, but not that it really matters, to be honest. A Hermit should be painful for them in a way. We just need to draw a removal spell, basically. Yeah. They're not going to invest. They're going to try to keep their options open here to basically protect and uh, do something else. Alright. We just need a removal spell off the top. Another bank buster. That's pretty bad. Alright, I'm definitely going to take that. Discard the land here for sure. Another land. That's pretty bad. <clears throat> I 
Can we raise? That's the question. Alright, let the Kasmina take some of that damage. That's our only way here. Even if we sacrifice our Planeswalkers, let the Kasmina take the damage. If they want to attack us personally, that that's even fine. It's even better. Farewell? Farewell can't be the play, right? They use their slip out the back. They pay three mana for the Hermit. We lose drastically. Yeah, farewell cannot be the play. Let's see. We're gonna take we're gonna decline here, I think. For sure. They're down to fourteen. Another Delver to block, I guess. Yeah. Take the Kasmina out. Sure. They have to pass. Alright, let's draw with the Bank Buster here. I don't think we're going to attack with this Bank Buster here. Tezzeret is pretty good here for us, though. Tezzeret makes this Celestis into a creature. Now we're swinging for a lot, right? Yeah, the best bet here for us is to just try to race, right? Alright, you never attack with the Hermit, because they'll always take the block here. Let the Hermit just really uh, be annoying for them. Alright, now that it's a lot of pressure... Yeah, they pr probably phase out the Delver. That's fine. Sure. Sure. Let's not pull the trigger too soon with the Malevolent Hermit. And I'm not going to play the land because maybe if, if they attack us, we'd want to discard the land for the Tezzeret if we want to. You know, like, uh, plus the Tezzeret here. They didn't flip their other Delver, which is very good for us here. They need something here. They're not racing very good or dealing enough damage here. That's fine. Sure. They need to attack us. Yeah. They're holding back on the mana drastically. Yeah, they're attacking us. Yeah, they realize the well, they realize what's going on here. Maybe we just don't even draw with the Tezzeret here. Now we definitely need to draw. I mean, we can make another creature attack with so many, right? But how is that any good for us? Yeah, I don't think that's any good for us. Or that does any favors for us here and we're just drawing lands non non-stop. That's pretty bad. Another bank buster. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna take the draw here and hope for the best. Wandering Emperor. Sure, we can make a play with the Wandering Emperor here for sure. Decline. We have one, two, yeah, we have plenty of mana here. Let's think about this. If they have another Homestead Courage, we die, right? Because they play it, we tap it, so I guess we need to attack here. But if they have another, um, you see a guard's approach or slip out the back, 
we just lose, right? They won, they pay three for it, throw the malevolent hermit. I guess we can um we can replay the hermit to block, right? Yeah. So I guess we do attack here. I hope it's another march. Let's see what they want to do. Blocking with the other Delver cannot be good. But it's a good sign for us. I think that's the right play here, right? We play the Wandering Emperor. See how they react. Put a plus one counter here, I think. They have to protect that, and we're going to trigger the, um... Oh, they let it through? It needs to be another slip out the back. That's how they win, I think. Let's see what it is. But the problem is, is that if we shelter, yeah, they have something else. Oh, but it's non colored though. Protection from what? Blue? Nice. Yeah, <laughs> GG's. It's not colored. <laughs> Protection from what? Nice. GG's. So, the thing here is, is the fact that, like, man, the shelter is so awful in this deck. It's really bad. It just load up on, slip out the back, slow it up on you see a guard approach, and you need, the, you need the march also. If they had a march in hand and a plu card in hand, they would have dodged the counter spell and were able to protect their creature here and swing back for the win. But they lost that way. GG's. Alright. I guess we can try this. Not the most ideal hand, but we're on the play at least. Which is rare. Okay. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Okay, Bank Buster should be pretty good here against a blue player. Two blue sources and a Storm Chaser Drake. You have to kill that when they're tapped out, right? Very, very important to kill these. They take the draw, which means no creature, which is pretty good for us. Play Teferi here, for sure. I um, think I'm going to look with the Teferi, though, here. Another Bank Buster, I'll take it. Bank Buster should be very good in these um, tempo matchups. Right, it draws a card. We need to start activating, activating the Bank Buster, though. So what I think I'm going to do here is just... Yeah, sure. Actually, hmm. we do want to uptick the Teferi before we attack, so I guess we just activate it now. It doesn't really matter that much. Plus here, and then just unlock the white source here. I think we, um, hmm. We're going to want to take the draw here, I think. I don't think we want to attack. We want to find more removal initially. Fading Hope on the Teferi. Sure. So now, I think we just 
screw the bank buster, get him for some damage. Unless they spend their entire resources like that. That's fine, they give us brand new Teferi. Yeah, a bit of tempo from our opponent there is much needed, right? So this is going to be terrible, right? Where our hand is very, very bad against tempo. <clears throat> Virtuoso with a ton of protection. GG's. That's right. Gonna play the Tesla right here. Try to make some blockers here. They might phase out the blockers here and try to kill the Tesla, but that's fine. <coughs> I value the bank buster more than the G uh, the luxury, right? Yeah, that's fine. We can draw off of the bank buster thanks to the Tezzeret. I mean, Tezzeret taking the damage is better than me, so it's, it's it's fine. Yeah. Security bypass, it's going to be pretty terrible here. So we're going to need to deal with the virtual so in any way possible. Yeah, that's fine. I guess we just raise here, to be honest. Another security bypass. They tapped? Really? Maybe they have a land? Or they're looking to draw a land at least? Yeah, it seems like they do have a land here. An untapped blue would be very fine for them. Wow. Okay, so this is game, right? This is good game. Virtuoso with the... Um, yeah. We need to find uh, two removal pieces here, or else we just die, right? They can knife twice, which is such a problem. Discard Guiding Voice, discard something else, Delver, yeah. And these gained uh, popularity, huh? Draw again, discard. This is our only chance here, I think. Another Chaser Drake, yeah. We need to find a removal. And they pass. Alright, luckily, we have many ways to look for that removal, right? Hmm. That's pretty bad. So, if we don't find a removal, that's game? That sucks. two pieces of removal also and we couldn't find a single one wow no removal bro like that's crazy we also needed two pieces of removal that's insane man they tapped like that too what are you doing what So this costs three. All right, decline. Let's play a land and let's bounce that, right? Since they tap like that, that's crazy. <coughs> that's the only way we survive. 
and I got kind of frustrated because we we just we dug through so much right and we couldn't find that removal at least now they discarded so many security bypasses we can uh, have a chance at least some blockers right <clears throat> they definitely made a mistake by not you know I don't know if they had protection in hand or not but spell pierce is really not protection they discarded slip out the back they have another one that's okay at least now we can block Tamio. Sure. We can reanimate uh, Teferi. Hmm. Do we test out the theory? Do we try to tap that or reanimate Teferi? What's reanimating Teferi going to do for us anyway? Nothing, right? So let's draw first with the Tezzeret here. See what we can find. We found another Giada, which I'm going to discard here for sure. Yeah, let's see if they have protection in hand. And let's draw out that protection at least. Yeah, they're gonna protect it. You see a guard's approach. Sure. Nice. Okay. That's fine. So they're hoping for a security bypass off the top or nothing, right? Let's attack with the uh, luxury here, see what happens. They'll definitely not take the block, right? <clears throat> all right and uh we pass here it's either they draw it off the top or they don't oh they're going for it with the towers yikes but now they're tapped i mean they only have one mana so even if they find it it doesn't really matter I just need to find one fateful absence. Literally, that's all I want. Either one fateful absence or one march. Shelter. Shelter is fine. They're attacking. Let's draw out their last protection here. Wow. Nice. <laughs> no protection, nothing, right? That's pretty good. Alright. <clears throat> that's game. Good game. Nice. <clears throat> 